1994, I decided to start working on my next album that I would title That Nigga Kins. Now remember, the force of one is still in effect because like I always said, borrowing the beats, I always did everything else. When it comes to the mixing, producing, the engineering, everything else that's involved in making music, I did it myself. Manager, I wrote the contracts. I did everything. I represented my colleagues as far as the artists that were signed under me under under my management team. I did everything and still do everything by myself except for make the beats now. Mr. Ricky know him rock the jam And Cool Whip know him rock the jam My nigga D-Point rock shocker the jam But now they wanna know who the fuck I am The R&B know them rock the jam My niggas from Surreal know they rock the jam The bigger nigga Kurt know him rock the jam But now they wanna know who the fuck I am A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous Like Darkwing said, let's get dangerous With the rhymes of a psycho, keep your black ass hype I'm a motherfucking bomb that's about to ignite Blowing up like a truck in the field of mines Got you ducking and dodging from these fat ass rhymes When grown folks are throwing, you should shut the fuck up I drop skills to your grill, cause I'm rough and abrupt I make love to my lyrics while I'm fucking your mind Getting freaky like Madonna, time at the time Switching gears in your ears like a cherry GG I get splitting TLC with no reason to creep my extension build dimensions, so don't be astonished Like Disney at the movies, I'll poke your highness Rising up like Akeem at the top of a ladder Like your lips when you slip, I get fatter and fatter Like a baby being abused, is how you get shook So keep your fucking mouth closed when I'm casting my hook A rapper cytomaniac, just call me cantankerous A rapper cytomaniac, just call me cantankerous A rapper cytomaniac, just call me cantankerous Like Darkwing said, let's get dangerous a rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. Like Darkwing said, let's get dangerous. Verse 2, I thought you knew I'm in control of this planet. Anytime, any place, I get busy like Janet. Ask me if you like Michael, I'm making you scream. Got you crying like a bitch. Stop effing with me. A rapper cytomaniac is scarring your brain. Dropping lyrics over tracks like an Amtrak train. Running stunts that keep you drunk cause like Phillies I'm blunt. Buy Greeks at a party, that's how you get stumped. Pound after pound, have me shaking the ground. Spitting lyrics so fast that you just might drown. By the lyrical imperial, and who can it be? That nigga K E N to the N to the Z. With the knowledge of a college class dollar Victorian in the field of hip hop. Is where I'll be scoring and overheated, undefeated, and picking the facts, pumping them and stomping them with that back track. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. Like Darkwing said, let's get dangerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. A rapper cytomaniac just call me cantankerous. Like Darkwing said. Let's get dangerous, getting off into some shit and running reversals. My lyrics weigh a ton in this hip hop dispersal. Got you sleeping with the enemy, you need a new identity. My task is kicking ass from here to infinity. For matters fundamental with my hip hop credentials, making singles with the jingle as my lyrics start to mingle on the throat. Instrumentals living up to my potential, busting fragments of your brain like a brick through a window. Be careful what you say when you're holding your balls. I know you should remember my supremacy clause That what I say supersedes all your thoughts So when you get caught, yo, it ain't my fault 
A rapper side of maniac, you know that I'm wicked. But before my jam is over, you will say that I kick it. For you billy ass niggas kicking rap so vague. Bring the hook while I look to see who pays. A rapper side of maniac, just call me cantankerous. A rapper side of maniac, just call me cantankerous. A rapper side of maniac, just call me cantankerous. Like Darkwing said, let's get dangerous. Now, occasionally, if it doesn't take too much time, I will do a sample. I will sample somebody else's music now that I don't have to use the, <laughs> their full instrumentals anymore. I will sample an artist, but I usually leave all the beat making to those who do nothing but make beats. Yo, beat baby, I got this one. <laughs> Hey, yo, mom, you know I love you, right? You know I love you, though. I got you, too. You will always be the lady in my life, even after I claim my future wife. Forever, my lady, my teacher and boss, don't ever let these work get lost. Love you more than you could imagine Apologizing for causing you damage I am your son, but you are the light Guiding me through this maze of my life Now in the process of doing my album That Nigga Kins I ran into a lot of difficulty Number one, my most of my acts thought they were better than what they really were and they didn't want to rehearse and practice and go through the process that's needed. So I did my best to appease them by introducing them to people that was in the industry who had already produced, like Michael Powell had already produced Anita Baker and uh, various other artists, and including uh, Fabu. I had introduced uh, my gr group Infrared to Michael Powell, and I also introduced some of the rappers to uh, R&P Productions, who I was working with to try to get my album together. Initially, my album, That Nigga Cans, was supposed to be me working exclusively with R&P Productions. But we only got through two songs before we would actually part ways. Those two songs would be Rapicidal and A Sex Crime. It's 1994 and I started writing a lot heavier now, 1995, because like again, I'm not just writing raps, I'm writing R&B and R&B love songs and, and doing live performances. Now it got to the point where my group Infrared actually got a tentative offer from Jerry Ball. Jerry Ball used to be a player on the Detroit Lions and he told them to come out and audition in Atlanta to see if you know we could get a deal. I tried to tell my group they wasn't ready but they were insisted upon at least getting this opportunity to audition for Jerry Ball out in Atlanta. So I made them an agreement and this is how we would meet, I would get them to meet Michael Powell. I would take them to Michael Powell's studio. I would let him listen to them. Because I was going to try to kill two birds with one stone anyway. I would let him listen to them. And if he thought they were ready, hopefully not only would we go out and seek out Mr. Ball, but we would also maybe get some production from Mr. Powell as well. Needless to say, it didn't quite work out like that. Eventually, the groups were dispersed. 
and almost, if not every person I was managing, would actually give up on the craft that they were trying to hone at that time. So by 99, I was back on my own. But before we even get to 99, I was like, I could still, you know, carry on with my own career. But in 1996, a young lady that I was dating brought a baby to me and told me he was mine. I was going to follow through with the uh, trip out to Atlanta to see Jerry Ball for myself. I sent my portfolios out and everything was cool. He was like, yeah, come on out. Any talent that you got, just bring it and come on out. And we'll give you a chance as long as you come on out. Of course, he did not offer to fly us out. But he was like, if you can get here, we'll take the time to hear you out. So my plan was, let me go ahead and foster my own career and meet up with Mr. Ball and see what it do. But again, in 96, a young lady I was dating brought a young baby to me, said it was mine. I didn't dispute it and decided that I would end my career right there for a chance to be a father to my child. I would uh, no longer pursue my goals of trying to be in the music industry at all. But he is not mine. The baby is crying. But he is not mine. Still a bump and a cry. He is not mine. The baby is crying. Take a solemn moment to kneel and pray He is not mine Bless my God, such a beautiful gift His inspiration flowing off of my lips the baby is crying Father, I love you just as much as your son It's never the easy being the chosen but one the love that was shared And that's what I did I gave up all my hopes and dreams of music to be a father to my child, who we will find out later, wasn't even mine. 